Hello everybody. Welcome to Unity Broadcast. I'm the host of this program, Mr. Unity. Hopefully, we'll one day be Mr. Unity. At any rate, I'm sorry that it's been like, I think, a week since I've been on here. But I have been incredibly busy with work. And it's been off and on, you know, cold to warm and what have you. I've just been really exhausted with work. Working third shift and second shift. And it's just been a lot to undergo I haven't really had a whole lot of energy for doing anything like this I thought about it but it just wasn't there please like share and subscribe please comment I welcome comments all these things help the to get the message out and circulated so that more people will hear the Persian Gulf the issue between Iran and Israel is not looking good we have a potential war front there North and South Korea it's looking really bad over there as well North Korea I don't know what to think about those people I, the, their government I just I just I don't I know what I do think I'm not sure what to think then, of course, we've got the situation between basically all of NATO and Russia, which is allied with China and likely all of you know, China's allies, you know. And then there is another one. Uh, there, there were like four different ones. You'll have to listen to uh, Canadian Prepper. He's got a lot more information about all of that than I do. Actually, yeah, the China and Taiwan problem. That's the fourth one. <laughs> eh, nothing is looking good at this point, folks. And, like, oh, what is it? I think 41 million SNAP recipients are going to be losing, like, $90 a month on their SNAP benefits. A lot of those are actually believe it or not working families with kids I this is not looking good it's not looking good I, I don't know how people are going to manage to keep feeding their families if they were really relying on that and now they're losing $90 a month <laughs> we could be in for some very serious problems with the with that as far as rioting is concerned you know it it just it's not looking good warm weather is almost here and if people are having a difficult time or more difficult time than they're currently already having trying to put food on the table for their kids we're going to see some very serious problems come up and we I hope it doesn't get to this point, but we could see people being robbed on their way out of the grocery store for not money, but for groceries. I hope it doesn't happen, but I think it's coming to that at some point in the not-too-distant future. So I would say likely sometime between now and July or August, if not sooner. You know, anytime between now and then. And it could be literally any time. We could see anything literally happen at any time. We got so much devastation going on at this point with environmental issues, derailments and what have you, uh, and multiple derailments in multiple parts of the country. I don't believe that any of this <laughs> is accidental. There's too much of it happening. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, these things are not happening just by chance. This country is being attacked, and it's being attacked from within. Who is doing it is anybody's guess. Could be the current administration, could be Antifa, could be illegals crossing the border, could be sleeper cells, for all we know, that were already here. And then there was the... Oh, is that month? Was it Montana? 
I think it was. I don't remember for sure, but some illegals shot and killed a bald eagle. And of course, the lamestream media claims they were hungry. They wanted to eat it. No, I'm sorry. I'm not buying that. <laughs> not buying that at all. There's too many places for people to get food if they're hungry. If you really want it that bad, you can find some place where you can get some something to eat. There are soup kitchens all over the country. Not to mention people who are always willing to buy food for somebody in need. No. It's not looking good, folks. It's not looking good. So all I'm going to say is everything that I've told you in the past, I'm just going to keep saying it. Keep prepping the best you can. Just do the best you can. That's all you can do. And what I got news for you. If you put your trust and your faith in God and do what you can do the best way you can, as much as you can the best way you can, whatever you can't do, He will do the rest. I guarantee it. All you have to do is trust. That's it. That's all I have to do. And he provides everything for me that I cannot provide for myself. Till next time, Mr. Unity, signing out.